What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to another episode of There Is Only Warhammer and another Warhammer community update um, regarding the Reavers. And this one is entitled Tactica Primera Space Marine Reavers. So, without further ado, let's see what they've got to say about these guys. <clears throat> right. Reavers are the most terrifying of the Angels of Death, coupling the sheer might of their kin with specialised training and brutal weaponry. Sounds good so far. In your army, Reavers make for a potent and durable anti-infantry choice, with particular efficacy against large shooting units that rely on weight of numbers or a powerful overwatch attack to discourage attackers. Nothing ruins a good cayenne like a pack of genetically engineered killers tearing up your fire warriors. Yeah. Sounds good. Right. Reavers possess the same strength and durability as the rest of the primary space marines. <clears throat> like intercessors, they have an additional wound and an additional attack compared to a standard tactical marine representing their enhanced physiology. In addition to this, these warriors have the same armor saves as other power armored units, so they're going to require some concerted effort to displace and should be able to last a long time in combat against any unit that lacks armor piercing weaponry. For weapons, the Reavers are equipped with heavy bolt pistols and combat blades. Effectively, this is very similar configuration to most assault units and will function just as well piling on a huge number of potential hits. Each Reaver will be attacking three times in the fight phase, meaning that even a small squad has a high potential damage output. Compared to an assault squad, you're trading the ability to take special wounds for more wounds and more attacks. Hmm. The heavy bolt pistols are very useful. Unlike most pistol carrying units, these aren't just an additional free shooting attack, but also modify the enemy saves by a minus one. Possibly enough to contribute key casualties to a difficult combat. Where the Reavers really shine is with their special issue war gear and abilities. The shock grenade in particular makes the Reavers very dangerous as it prevents enemies from firing overwatch and subtracts one from their hit rolls. Used to directly support the Reavers and other assault units, this is a great way to mitigate your opponent's defences against charges such as units that possess additional ballistic skill when firing overwatch or flamers. By modifying hit rolls, these also allow the Reavers to maximize their effectiveness as disruption units, using their grenades to weaken one shooting unit and then charging another to tie it up in combat. <clears throat> Sounds to me like you're going to need these guys against Tau. I'm going to cough, so excuse me, please. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Right, so getting back to it. The signature rule of the Reavers is called Terror Troops and represents their terrifying presence on the battlefield. In game, this force this forces nearby enemy units to subtract one from their leadership. Like shock grenades, you'll have to keep you'll have to be deep in enemy lines to maximize the effectiveness of this ability. But it's worth noting that this doesn't just directly aid the Reavers themselves, but also their fellow battle brothers. If one of your opponent's gunline units is, is caught fi fighting Reavers, units within three inches will also be suffering penalties to their leadership. We imagine that if a bunch of skull-faced giants were tearing up your mates, you'd be a little demoralised as well. In practice, this penalty is a great way to rack up more losses from morale for your opponent, either in thinning out hordes or attempting to force losses against more elite forces. Hope I don't come up against them with my orcs. <clears> hmm. <throat> Overall, Reavers are a valuable disruption unit and most Space Marine armies will benefit from at least one squad with a variety of useful equipment and special rules coupled with decent weapons and characteristics. You'll find yours useful both as your primary assault infantry or as a small toolbox unit with specific with a specific purpose. You can pre-order your Reavers here today. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I must admit, I'm intrigued by the the uh, the heads there. Yeah, they, they do have a certain uh, terror t 
see them. I'm presuming this <coughs> face bit here is actually part of the mask. You know, the rest of it's just his head there. Presumably. Presumably. I don't know. But yeah, sounds like you're going to need them against things like the towel and things like that. So, uh, but like I said, I wouldn't want to come up against them myself. That said, I may end up having to get some to try them out. <clears throat> but there, there you go. Primaris a Space Marine Reavers. Well, remember all brushes lead to war. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.